The contents of the Platinum Edge mat cutter include the baseboard and the cutting head and a squaring arm. Also included are the lift -a bar mechanism handle, three spare Allen wrenches, extra blades, and the instruction manual. To install the squaring arm, insert the squaring arm into the posts at the bottom of the machine, and then insert the strut pin into the bracket. Tighten the screw to hold it snugly in place. To install the handle onto the lifter bar mechanism, lift the rail, use the screw and the handle to attach it onto the lifter bar mechanism. To install a blade onto the straight side cutting head, first remove the blade holding magazine. Install a blade sharp side down onto the magnet. Then replace the blade holding magazine and retighten the blade holding knob. To install a blade in the bevel side, again remove the blade holding magazine, install a single blade sharp side down, and replace the blade holding magazine. Then retighten the blade holding knob. If blade depth adjustments are needed, find the blade holding knobs on the back end of each of the blade holders. Turning the screw in or out will increase or decrease the blade depth. Find the same blade depth adjustment knob on the straight blade magazine. Turning it in or out will increase or decrease the blade depth. To downsize mat board in the Platinum Edge mat cutter, first remove the mat guide. Also remove the slip sheet. Insert the mat board to be cut along the squaring arm. Reference the number on the squaring arm for the size to be cut. Set the rail down and slide the cutting head past the far end of the material. Rotate the blade down and slide the lock pin in place. At this point, grasp the cutting head anywhere and pull straight back to make your straight cut. After the cut is finished, always ensure that you release the cutting head back to a neutral position. When making multiple downsize cuts, the production stop can speed up the process. Use the production stop by sliding it into position and tightening the knob. To bevel cut an opening into a piece of mat board, first ensure that you are using a slip sheet. Adjust the mat guide to the border size needed. In this example we are doing a 3 inch border. Insert the mat blank color side down against the mat guide and down against the squaring arm. Use a pencil to mark all four lines on the back of the mat board. Using the lifter bar will speed the process of marking and cutting the mat. To cut the opening, insert the blade roughly 3 16ths in front of the pencil line. Pull straight back until the tip of the blade is approximately 3 16ths past the bottom line. Repeat this process for all four sides. After the fourth cut, the window will drop out and you will have a perfectly cut beveled mat. To cut a 3 inch mat using production stops, ensure that you're using a slip sheet. Now adjust the mat guide to the 3 inch border.
adjust the bottom production stop to three inches and the top production stop also to three inches. Now we have a three inch border set on our mat guide and both production stops. Insert a mat blank color side down against the mat guide and down against the squaring arm. Slide the cutting head back until the foot on the production stop touches the edge of the mat board. Insert the blade and pull back to the bottom stop. Repeat this process for all four sides. After the fourth cut, the window will drop out and you will have a perfectly bevel cut mat. To re-square and unsquare squaring arm, use an L-shaped carpenter square to check the squareness. There should be no gap or movement of the tool. If a gap appears, an adjustment is needed. To adjust the squareness, loosen the screws in the strut bracket. Sliding the bracket either direction will adjust the squareness of the machine. Ensure that you retighten the screws in the proper position. And then recheck the machine for squareness once again. There should be no movement or gaps in the L-shaped carpenter square. To prevent hooks in the cut, a blade tip adjustment may be needed. Remove the blade magazine and locate the blade tip adjustment screw. Using the small Allen wrench provided, make minor adjustments on the blade tip adjustment screw to remove a hook in a cut. If over time the cutting head has become loose on the rail, tension adjustments can be made. To do this, first remove the blade holding magazine on the straight cut side of the cutting head. and locate the three tension adjustment screws. Using the Allen wrench provided, make tension adjustments to improve the ride on the cutting head.